We're understandably cavalier sometimes about safety standards, but when it comes to protecting jockeys' heads, we should all take heed. Professor Gilchrist from UCD is leading a research team into improving the helmet, and he has a lot of experience in studying head impact injuries. About 15 years ago, I became interested in the area of head impact biomechanics, building on previous work that I had done on fracture and deformation of engineering materials. And a lot of our students in UCD are very interested in understanding this as, a, as, as how materials behave. You went to the Turf Club? We went to the Turf Club. The Turf Club said we really are very interested and excited about the opportunities that your new innovative models can allow us to help work with standards organisations and manufacturers to improve the safety for jockeys. You've conducted a series of tests, field tests and lab tests. Tell us about the lab tests first. Well, the lab tests, a lot of these are experiments in which we can actually simulate the tests that are in certification standards. So we have the situation where we can actually take a helmet from a manufacturer and do an identical test that will be uh, done by a certification house. So we do, for example, uh, impacts against a, a replica of a, of a horse's hoof to measure the forces under high-speed video camera and relate that back then to the stresses and strains that are set up within the helmet. You have sensors within the helmet? Yes, that's the, really the clever thing about the, some of our project. We actually use the technology the, that the NFL use in American football, where we take a set of six accelerometers, instrument a helmet, certify that as being fit for use, and volunteer jockeys then actually wear these in the field. That's the impact from the hoof. Tell us about the impact from the ground now. And the impact from the ground is quite different because depending on whether the ground is hard or soft, the severity of the impact that's transmitted to the jockey's helmet and consequently to the head and brain of the jockey will vary. So the magnitude of the force that's transmitted and the duration of the impact will also differ. In your findings, you've relied a little bit on subjectivity, different tracks, different ground, different foreman, different opinions. Yes, we are. And if you go, for example, from one particular course, the, uh, when, the, when the going stick is used, that gives a qualitative description for that track. That's very useful for common racing parlance, but for engineering design, we actually need to have the quantitative numerical value for what the stiffness characteristics actually are, because they relate back to the forces that are transmitted to the helmet. What surprises or recommendations have you found from your findings? One of the very interesting findings that I was surprised actually to see is how significant concussion is as a head injury within this particular sport. About 15% of all of the head injuries are concussive and many of those involve loss of consciousness. Can you correlate the type of fall to the type of injury? Unfortunately, Robert, that, that's something we have not been able to do, but that's what we actually had originally set out to do. We originally had hoped that we'd be able to use video data from actual falls from racetracks instrumented with our helmets and actually relate that back to the severity of the injuries that jockeys would have had. These jockeys that we're working with are all professional jockeys. They're well able to fall. So we haven't had a large population debt, data set of actual accidents. So that's the area of work that we're continuing on into the future. How definite will your recommendations be when you present them? The process that we go through is feeding it to the international literature, feeding it to international standards organizations, such as the National Standards Authority of Ireland, and to manufacturers. We make recommendations. We hope that they adopt them. Progress has been made and there's more progress to come. Indeed, indeed, very much so.